Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live, not live, from Menasha, Wisconsin. So this is pre-recorded. It is actually a Facebook Live, but I do it in a private group because I'm going to be gone Sunday night. Uh, my friend Dina and I are headed to Wyoming to visit our other bestie, Barb, and um, we're going to be there for about a week. So I'm thinking I'll have something special planned for you next week, Sunday, so that you um, have some stamping to watch on Sunday night, as usual, but it's going to be something maybe a little bit different, and I'm not making any promises because it just depends on how much I can get done. So I'm actually filming this Facebook Live, not live, on Saturday, and I have such a busy day, oh my goodness. I've got um, a wedding today at 3 o'clock that I have to attend and the dinner. And then I'm going to be taking off and heading to Iowa. And I expect to pull in there maybe about midnight. And you guys know I'm a night owl, so I'm fine with being up late at night. So don't worry about that. But um, I'm thinking I won't have much traffic, which is great, right? And my husband is supposed to be home at some point today. He may not get home till after I leave. So I haven't seen him for over a week because he's been out in Nebraska bow hunting and he did get a, a buck, a really nice one. Him and his brother got him on the same day. So that was pretty cool. And um, my hunting last week, I, well, this, this, well, it was last week now, but um, I got to see one doe, a very small doe, and she was really cute. And she was very angry that I was in a tree by her. She uh, actually came out and she spotted me and ran back in the woods and then stood there and blew at me. Like they make this whoo noise and she was blowing and I could picture her. I couldn't see her anymore because she was in some pine trees, but I could picture her stomping her feet and blowing at me. <laughs> They're so cute. But anyways, I didn't have an opportunity to get any deer and that was fine because I got to spend some time in a tree. I saw beautiful sunsets. Um, the weather was really warm. Warm. I actually had my shoes and socks off sitting up in my tree stand. And um, I got to spend a little time with nature. I think the only other thing I saw was a chipmunk. But it was nice and relaxing and exactly what I needed. I got to visit with my mom and see my nieces and nephew. And um, me and my mom and my sister and my niece went out for lunch and we went shopping at St. Vincent de Paul where I picked up some little treasures and um, we had a really good time and it was nice and relaxing. Then my cousin's husband showed up with his son who would be my second cousin. They were there to bow hunt also so it was really nice to visit with them. I, I haven't seen him in a while. So it was a fabulous few days where I got to relax a little bit. And um, while we are headed on an adventure to Sheridan, Wyoming, we will be working. We work like dogs when we're there. We have lots of fun. There are margaritas involved. Don't worry. <laughs> but we have a lot of fun, but we do get a lot of work done because Barb and Dina are the ones that I collaborate with. We do our online classes together, and we also help each other support our team, and we split up our teams. We split up um, the the um, fabulous content that we give our team. So it's a collaboration that has just been a fabulous blessing in my life. So um, first off, I wanna start off, I've got a few announcements and then I have a ton of mail to show you at the end. I have received just some really beautiful, of course not some, all of them are beautiful cards and some gifts this week that I wanna share with you. I heard from Haley this morning, Little Miss Val has got two bottom teeth coming in. I got to stop and visit with her yesterday. It's been such a crazy week. Um, I didn't get home till Thursday morning and then hit the ground running because I had a lot of work to do. Fred, my handyman, he tore the wall out between. My office is going to be right upstairs when I get this remodel done. And he tore the wall out between the two bedrooms and I am shocked, shocked at how big it is. And then we had a little problem. He um, went home. I, I was gone. I went to visit little Miss Val. Let's get back to that. And I was rolling around on the floor with her and we were like, she was so smiley and so happy. And one really cute thing that happened is she's starting to, you know, pull herself up on stuff and reach for things she shouldn't be touching. And when Jared, her daddy, says no, 
she looks up and he tested, he like um, did a, a sample of this for me. He went over to her and he said, no. She looks up at him. And then she almost started crying and he goes, she doesn't like to be told no. I thought, yep, that's my girl. <laughs> Well, we rolled around on the floor and we had so much fun. I just love squeezing her and I like blowing, you know, on her all over her neck, her stomach, her feet. And uh, it was so fun. She ripped out a whole bunch of my hair. <laughs> it was a good time. But anyways, back to Fred. So when I got home, Fred was gone for the day weekend and I went to go upstairs and my lights didn't work in the hallway here or the end of the hallway or the bathroom. And I'm like, oh, that's not going to work because that's my bathroom. So I had to call Fred and he came back. He told me there were two live wires, not covered on the ends, just shoved into the wall. He found them inside the walls. One of them had a char mark on the insulated cording, which means that, you know, at some point it got pretty hot and could have started a fire. He was here for, gosh, I don't even know, on a Friday night, an hour and a half, um, knocking holes in walls, trying to figure out what was going on. And it turned out, I don't know, there was some type of short in the flip switch to get in the bedroom. And he got it fixed and got my lights working again. He's so sweet. He texted me when he got home and he said, will you please text me in the morning? I just want to make sure you're all right. <laughs> like, like, my house is going to burn down overnight. That made me feel a little uneasy. But, um... He's just a very compassionate, thoughtful person. And so this morning I got up and I texted him. I'm like, I'm alive. And he's like, good to hear it. Have a great trip. So Fred will be coming back on Monday and I'll be gone all week. And I can't wait to see the progress with my room. He said he'd send me pictures. And I did take some pictures of the room with the wall knocked out. So I'll be sharing those with you guys at some point here. But I'm super excited. My office is going to be so big. <sighs> Anyways, um... Let's see, my husband was out in Nebraska. It was very warm out there, and he was also in stocking feet sitting up in a tree. So it was kind of funny that we were both doing the same thing on, on you know, separate parts of the country. And uh, I don't have any real update on John. Nothing has been happening. Plus, I was gone for, you know, three and a half days. But I did see John and his little grandson in the back of his work van, and I don't know what they were doing. I never did see what they were doing. I wasn't staring at them, but I was in the kitchen filling up my, my drink over the sink, and I saw them there. And John's pants were full of mud, like he had been kneeling in the mud or something. That's all I got. <laughs> I don't have anything else to tell you about John. Isn't that crazy? What else? Margaret Day, if you are watching this, I still have not received your... Um, address so I can send you your prizes and I know that you know you won these and they're sitting here waiting for you but I don't have your address so again you need to pop me an email at kelly k-e-l-l-y at at symbol a stamp above dot com so I can get that prize out to you in the mail um what else Curvy Celebrations is in full swing, you guys. Oh, I'm going to be using it tonight. I was just going to grab the flyer. Um, Curvy Celebrations, we have a Christmas section of it and a regular section. These border dies are amazing. I also have an online class. You can find that on my blog, www.estampabove.com. On the right-hand column of my blog is an online class. It's like a little graphic. Click on that, and it'll take you to all my online classes. But I do have Curvy Celebrations. When you order option number one from me, you get the online class for free and a pre-cut cardstock pack to make nine cards with it. These cards are phenomenal. This bundle is amazing. It's going to be um, around in its entirety until, <clears throat> I think, January 4th. And at that point, the curvy, quite curvy stamp set and the dies will be in our new spring mini catalog. However... The Christmas curvy and the Christmas paper will not. They're gonna. They're just available for this these few months. So I just want to make sure you know that. But get that early. When I get back from Wyoming, I'm going to be um, looking at numbers and getting everything figured out. How much cardstock and stuff I need to order. But it's a fantastic set. I've had so much fun with it. Also, Snowflake Splendor, one of my favorite bundles out of the holiday mini catalog. I have a few of those pre-cut cardstock pack kits left. Um, and of course, if you order the entire bundle of products that's shown in my online class tab, 
option number one. If you fill out that form and order option number one, you get that pre-cut cardstock pack in the online class for free for, for Snowflake Splendor. And then Sweetest Time, I sold out of Sweetest Time. I'm, I'm completely out of it. So make sure you get these if you're thinking about it before they're gone. And then I am missing on stage right now. Um, Stampin' Up! usually has um, a big Stampin' Up! event that is three days, and um, this this time it was scheduled to be in Salt Lake City, but they canceled it due to COVID. And so they put together the most amazing virtual event. We have been watching demonstrators from all over the world have been showing us new ideas, new products coming out in the spring mini catalog, celebration. We're getting to see it all. And you can do that whether you are a business builder or a discount shopper. When you join my team, you have the opportunity to participate in these amazing things. This is the first time they've ever held an on stage virtually. And I have to say, they are knocking it out of the park. It is so awesome. So um, the best part about, well, it's not the best part, but a good part because I'm missing it right now to film my Facebook Live, not live, I can go back and watch this and it's going to be available for I don't even know how long. But the reason why I'm telling you that is I have seen the Spring Mini Catalog. Oh my Lord, it is amazing. I can't even wait to share this with you. I actually put a pre-order. We get to purchase premiere order um, early if we attend the on-stage event. And this is something that Stampin' Up! does with almost all of their events. If you attend you get to pre premiere pre-order. And so I have my stuff coming second day air. It's going to be delivered to me in Wyoming. I can't hardly wait. But the reason why I'm telling you this is because when you join my team, our holiday mini cat, or I'm sorry, our spring mini catalog pre-order period for discount shoppers or demonstrators, we are all the same when you join my team. What you want to do with it is your own deal. You can do it for the discount, you can make a business out of it, you can go someplace in between, whatever. But um, we don't judge. <laughs> when you join my team, you get to pre-order December 1st also. So not only do we have the opportunity to earn our celebration stuff early, but we also have the opportunity to order out of that spring mini catalog an entire month ahead of time. And if you... Um, Join my team on December 1st. You will get to pre-order out of that spring mini catalog. So I just wanted to make sure you're aware of that. And let me tell you, being on my team is a lot of fun. Um, we have a blast. And I provide a ton of all kinds of stamping ideas and challenges and um, all kinds of fun stuff. We have a virtual team meeting every month that no matter where you are across the country, I have a... I have a demonstrator in Hawaii, so no matter where you are, you get to attend that meeting via Zoom and Facebook Live, and it's just a lot of fun to be part of something bigger, right, than sitting at home by yourself stamping. Become part of something bigger, and if you're a stamper, you should be getting a discount. So, all right, I have some prizes to give away from my Facebook Live last week. I have... A package of these 12 Tidings Glitter Enamel Dots just in time for Christmas. I'm giving these away for commenting on my Facebook Live last week. Now, because I'm not really live tonight, Sunday night. I know it's weird because it's sunny out, right? Um, oh, and that reminds me. Check out the flowers, right? Oh, my gosh. The flower. Oh, yeah, I'm doing the right way. It's weird because we're backwards. The flowers came to me when I got home. They were sitting on my front porch. My upline is Ann Hevener, and she bought me these gorgeous roses um, as a congratulations for my million dollar achievement. And there's also a gift that she brought for on stage attendees, which I am. We would usually be going to Salt Lake City, and I would then be bringing gifts, or I usually have t shirts made for my team that all match. It's just a lot of fun. But this year, it's virtual, so um, I mailed out gifts to all of my team members attending on stage, and that was so much fun. I made up little pizza boxes. I think I have some pictures. I'll show you guys on my blog. I'll post that at some point here in the next few days. But um, I also got a gift from Anne to go with my beautiful flowers and a bottle of champagne. Maybe I'll take that to Wyoming. Hmm. Okay, back to our winner. 
Lois Fireherm, Fireherm, you are the winner of these beautiful enamel glitter dots for making a comment or leaving a comment on my Facebook Live last week. Now, because we're not live, you can leave a comment under the post I'm going to put on Facebook Live with the link to this video. Or you can leave a comment on YouTube because I do um, draw from both of those areas. So make sure you comment under the YouTube video. And next, we have some of the whale of a time. Whoops. Um, this is the most adorable paper, and I was super happy when my winner's name popped up because I know she has a lot of grandchildren that I think will really enjoy this paper. My winner is Cindy DeWitt. Cindy, this is going to be in the mail to you, and I'm probably going to drop this in a post office box today on my way to the wedding so it's not sitting on my porch till Monday because my husband's coming home, and he usually, if he sees stuff sitting in a basket I have for the mailman, he will bring it in the house thinking that it's mail that came to me and I don't want that to happen. So Cindy DeWitt, this Whale of a Time Designer Series paper will be on its way to you. And then for placing an order, we have a winner and Kathy Locks, you are going to get this Merry Hello stamp set just in time for Christmas. And I'm feeling really generous. I'm going to pop in some of these Christmas enamel dots for you to go with the stamp set. So you guys, watch your mail. Congratulations to all my winners. I love giving stuff away. I think it's fun to be a prize winner too, right? And I hear from so many of you that you'll say, oh my gosh, I never win anything. And guess what? You can't say that anymore. And I love that. Okay, <clears throat> we are going to be making a fall card with a really cool technique first off and then I'm going to be um, playing around with a Christmas card using the Kirby Celebrations bundle so I'm excited about that. I want I just am looking around to make sure that I have all my things here and I think I do. Let's oh I've got to plug my camera in holy cow that would have made me really mad. This video won't happen again if I have to redo it. So I am really running out of time. I still haven't packed and it is 11.30 a.m. and I have to get dressed and leave for a wedding at like 2.30 and pack and take out the garbage and get the house ready because what happens if my husband doesn't get home and make sure the cats have food and all the things, right? Okay, we're gonna flip this camera around and we're gonna start stamping. I'm going to get some of my stuff ready. Oh, another thing I've got packed is my unicorn. Yeah, so we'll have three of them at Barb's house, and I'm taking my crown. So the only, the only time that you'll see me wearing my crown outside of a Facebook Live is when I'm with Dina and Barb, because the crown came about with them. We were um, out in Wyoming, and we were at a store, and we saw these tiaras, and there were these cheap little flimsy fabric tiaras, and... I can't, I think I bought them, three of them, so we all had one. And then we just decided that we needed to wear tiaras because we're better when we're together. And who doesn't love a tiara, right? <laughs> so now when we travel, we always, only when all three of us are together, if it's just me and Dina or Dina and Barb, no tiaras, but when all three of us are together, we wear our tiaras. And so that's where that came from. Okay, now I'm ready. Um... Let's see, I've got so much sunlight popping through, you guys. Hang on a second. I'm going to see if I can make this window stop with the glaring on my desk. Oh, I think that's going to be helpful. A little bit. Okay, so we're ready to turn the camera around and start some stamping. I think you're going to love these cards. Hang tight. Close your eyes if you get motion sickness. Let's see if I can get this in here without messing anything up. Oh, do you guys see these? A little tidbit for you. We also got to pre-order, as an attendee of our virtual on stage, we got to pre-order a new bundle with dragonflies. Ah, I'm so excited. I can't wait to show you this. I have actually designed five cards with this new dragonfly bundle, and it is amazing and beautiful, and I can't wait to share them with you. And you will be seeing those in hmm, late December, January for sure. Okay, we are going to be using Pretty Peacock ink for our card today. 
And I am bringing out the love of leaves and the stitched leaf dies. Oh my goodness, love these. I'm also going to bring in the wrapped in texture embossing folder. And this comes in a pack of two, I believe. Let me see if I can find... Oh, I don't know where the other one is, you guys, and things are falling. So hang on while I put my little thing back. But there's two embossing folders that um, come in this small size. Small, because it's little, right? Then I'm going to be using some gold glitter enamel dots. These are so pretty. And I, you know, I always think about these for Christmas, but gold is beautiful with um, fall masculine cards, just about anything it'll work with. All right, I'm going to set this aside. I love this bundle. I love a watercolor look, and that's what these leaves look like. They look like so rich and real. The sentiments are very nice. These dies are to die for. And if you do not have this bundle, I highly recommend it. You're going to be using this for years and years and years. It is so cool. Okay, we're going to start with our card layers here. And I have Pretty Peacock, five and a half by eight and a half. And we're just going to, oh, I just heard one of the cats go through the cat door. We're going to, uh, my guy had to go up in the attic to try and figure out what was going on with the wiring. And I was so embarrassed because I have got so much crap in my attic. You can hardly move up there. It seems like every time I turn around, I'm cleaning out something only to just throw it in the attic. And I'm not even kidding when I say, other than Christmas stuff that's up there, probably all of it needs to go in the garbage. But I have not had time to get up there. That was one of my to-do things. But I did not have time to get up there and clean that disaster. So I'm like, oh, I'm so embarrassed. He's like, oh, this isn't bad. I'm like, are you kidding me? It's horrible. Apparently he's seen worse. So I haven't shocked him too much. I'm going to bring in my new die cut and emboss machine. I love this thing. I love all the plates are numbered. We're going to do, um, this is going to be our inside layer of our card. And what I decided I wanted to do is I love, love, love this crazy die. And so I decided that I was going to bring that in and I'm just going to put it so that it's coming up on my inside layer. This is very vanilla. Both of these are four by five and a quarter. And remember, you can find all of my measurements. I'm just making sure that's even. You can find all of my measurements on my blog all the time. Like when I do any type of a video or a Facebook Live, you're going to find still photos and measurements on my blog. And my blog address is right there. Okay, so I'm going to run this through. And what this is going to do... Oh, Oh, I'm missing. Hang on, I'm missing a plate. Where is my plate? This is what happens when you have helpers. Hang on, you guys. I can't find my other plate. And Rachel, what did you do with it? Oh my lord. She doesn't even know that she's going to die shortly. Huh. Hang on. Well... Here's what we're going to have to do. I don't know where my other plate went, you guys. So I'm going to have to bring in my old big shot. This is going to make me not happy. And then I'm going to call her when I'm done. I don't get I don't get cranky. But it is going to make me a little crazy. Okay, so let's see if I can get the right setup on here. So sorry. I should have paid better attention to that. And right now I need to find another plate for this one. Just when you think you're all ready, you're not. <laughs> okay, here we go. Big old sturdy big shot. I do have to say that I'm really impressed with my new die cutting machine once I find my plate. Um, it seems to be a little bit tighter than this old one. And so that makes things die cut better. Oops, hang on. Ooh, I got something on there. The fun of live TV. This is an old adhesive eraser. You could also use a sandy eraser. Those work good. We don't sell this anymore, but it sure comes in handy. Look at how cool that looks, you guys. Isn't that neat? Okay, let me get this out of the way. 
Thank goodness I had it sitting here. And oh my lord, I'm going to have to find that plate. One other thing. This is funny. So if you have people helping you out with stuff, like she just took some stuff home to make some cards that I need for some of my team members. And um, I went to open up this set to mount it on blocks. And guess what? There's, there's hardly no stamps in here. And I'm like, oh my lord, where are my stamps? Because I'm getting ready to do this Facebook Live. And I realized she just took them home because she's making cards with this set. But guess what? I had at least one leaf and the sentiment that I want to use. So I'm good to go. <laughs> it was kind of funny. I'm like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? Okay, next thing we're going to do is we are going to stamp our sentiment. This is three quarters by about three. And we are going to make it a little smaller. So the length doesn't really matter. I am going to use the I'm so glad you're in my life. And by the way, this card that I'm making, I just received in the mail this week from one of my dear team members, Sarah Simon. And I thought, oh my gosh, this technique is so cool. It's one of my favorites and I'm totally doing this for Facebook Live. So kudos to Sarah. This is her card and I don't know if it, it's her original card. Most of the time her stuff is original or if she found it and um, cased it because we can do that and we're encouraged to not always figure everything out on ourself, by ourselves, right? I mean, that's why people watch me is to get ideas and use these ideas. And that reminds me of another thing. Somebody just um, asked me this week in an email if they could case my card. Some card that I made, they wanted to know if they could case it. You guys can always case what I'm making. This is why I share, is to give ideas because Lord knows I get enough ideas from everybody out there. This is why we do this is, oh, I think I jacked this up because I'm jacking too much. This is why we share, is so that we can get ideas and use other people's ideas. Yeah, I don't like that, do you? I don't like that at all. <laughs> Let's try that again. Sometimes that backfires on me. We're gonna try one more time. I'm gonna stand up to make sure I can get this straight. Oh, I did really good. Let's try that again. I always like slit in the middle. Oh, these scissors are sprung, I think. This must be my old, old pair. I've got a new pair here somewhere. Did I show you guys my onstage scissors? Yes, I'm gonna throw those away. Sometimes some of my stuff is super old and I'm thinking maybe Molly used that to do something. Yeah, it happens. And this is my little scissors charm. This was a gift for my title. I am a gold elite with Stampin' Up. I was a platinum, which is the next level for about a hot second. <laughs> I always say that I was a platinum for a hot minute. That didn't last, but it's all... My title is, at this level is based on promotions on my team. And so um, I think I need two more silver, no, two more, yeah, silver elites to get my title back of platinum. But I was platinum for about a month and a half, and then somebody on my team retitled. And there went that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This is my scissors charm. Look at how cute that is, that big claw on there. And we were all wondering, we said this, I think, in my last video. Like, what is this obnoxious ball on the end? My, my charm thing is really pretty. I thought it was a bracelet, but it's like, what is this obnoxious? And you guys told me it's to stick your scissors in so you don't stab yourself when you're, like, traveling or whatever. Right? In a bag, you don't want to stab yourself. These babies are sharp. So, we are going to try this again. And now these scissors are going to cut all the way to the end, which is what I was trying to do, and I was not having my luck. It wasn't working. So cut in from the corner to that middle slit. There we go. Doesn't it look nice? Okay, and then I am going to... I could use scissors, but I'm afraid I'll get it crooked, and I don't want a crooked little banner. So I'm going to use my trimmer to cut that off so I know it's nice and straight. Yay! Look, Kelly can accomplish a banner. <laughs> then I've got a piece of our brushed metallic cardstock. Now this brushed metallic comes in 12 by 12. It's foil, but it's got a brushed texture to it. It's copper, gold, and um, 
chrome or champagne, but there's three different colors to it. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm going to adhere it to, I'm gonna put my banner on it. This is stamp and seal. I just like to use a tape runner. And this is our stamp and seal plus. I really like this. It's like, it's got those little tiny sections. And I don't know, I just, I'm very happy with it. I like the way it works. Now, when you put this on your seven eighths inch piece of your border background, you need to make sure you leave enough room down here so that you can come in and trim this to match. And I'm gonna do it the same way. I'm gonna do my slit in the middle and then I'm gonna come in from each end and try to have the same border on here as I have on the top and the bottom of my banner. Let's see how I did. Ooh, I did really good. Okay, and then I can cut this. Yay, okay, so here's my banner. I don't know if I want that edge on there or not, but we'll decide in a minute. All right, let's start putting a little bit of this together. The leaf that I've got here is going to be for, ooh, I like this idea for the inside of my card. Look at that pretty peacock. Is that not so pretty? Look at the image. It's I just love it. It's beautiful. So this is gonna be the inside of my card. And, oops, I got that a little bit, come on, a little bit crooked. There we go. Look how cool that looks on the inside. Isn't that neat? I love it, love it. Okay, here's our banner. We have that done. Um, and I'm pretty sure I just used the wrong piece. <laughs> that was the piece for the side of my card, not my little scrappy piece. So we are going to cut a piece of the brushed metallic, and this is the um, copper color, at one inch by five and a quarter. There we go. Now we're in business. And we've got this other piece of very vanilla. And this is where our technique is going to come in. So I've got and peacock. And I'm doing this at the exact same way that Sarah made hers because I love her color combinations. So we've got all of these neat little dies. And the cool thing about this is that they will nest inside of each other. So while this is gonna cut the stitched outline of this, whoops, this leaf, the next one, this one, is going to nest right inside here. And now I do recommend that you use a piece of washi tape that you've um, pulled off of your clothes a few times to hold that in place, okay? So we are going to do that leaf and this leaf. And again, I've got washi tape hanging. Whoops, see how I got that crooked? I've got washi tape hanging right on one of my, um, what do they call those? Like it's a desk lamp with a, a movable arm. This, I don't know if you can see this. Can you see this thing? This right here. Let me see if you can see that in the camera. Yeah, so I've got my tape. I hang it right on my lamp right there, so it's always handy. So we've got these two on Bumblebee, and then we're going to cut out two, I think, two of these. And did anybody else think this was kind of an odd shape? <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't resist. When I looked at that, I'm like, ah, oh. <laughs> there's your giggle for the day. If you haven't giggled at all yet, there it is. Okay, two of these, and then I'm going to do this big leaf on Pretty Peacock. I love, love, love this color. It's just such a pretty blue. Here comes another, and then we've also got, you've got two of these leaves, okay? And they go opposite directions, but I love that you have two of them because you can cut out two at a time if you want to. And then another piece of tape on here. So we're going to die cut all of these. And you can almost run this through in one, in one pass. And I'm going to bring these in. 
one of the things I absolutely love about the stitch dies is look at what's left behind. It leaves stitching behind on this is a this was a poinsettia, but it leaves stitches behind on all of the negatives that you would normally throw away. So you can do some really pretty stuff with that too. So I've got all of my pieces here, okay. And you can see the really cool stitching on them. Love these, love them all. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take them and we're going to adhere them to the front of our four by five and a quarter very vanilla piece. And I'm just gonna put this one in here. And then I'll do one of these. Now I'm not putting glue all the way to this end because this is just gonna kinda come in and go like that. So I don't want glue slopping over, right? So you have to kind of think about it a little bit. Sometimes I don't think, you guys know that. Like, where was my plate for my die cutting machine? Yeah, that was brilliant. And <laughs> I know, it can happen to anybody, right? I need to just not be so hard on myself. And then, let's see, we're gonna do this one. And again, I don't need to do glue on the whole thing. I'm gonna put this one in just like that. And then I think I'm gonna come in right here and put some, put this poking right into this little area right here. And maybe one up here. I'm kind of going along with what Sarah did and you guys will be able to kind of go along with what I did to keep this all straight. And then I think I'm gonna go with this one. Right here at an angle, okay? Crazy, right? Now, we're gonna turn this over. Oh my gosh, these scissors are, I love a brand new sharp pair of scissors. It's almost, oh look, I got glue on there. I shouldn't have put it down so low. It's almost as nice as like opening up a brand new Versamark ink pad. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take this wrapped in texture embossing folder and we are going to emboss this layer with this textured folder. Okay, so let me bring my machine back in here. And I have to remove this. And then you always want to put your spine or your um, hinge through your machine first, if possible. Sometimes when we do things, we, we don't always have that ability. But you definitely want to do that if you can. It'll just save on your wear and tear on your embossing folder. Okay, so, so far so good. Here we go. Are you guys ready for this? Look at how cool that looks. It's all, it looks like it's inlaid. So this is an inlaid embossing folder technique. And I absolutely love the look of this. Oh look, my fingernails broke. Isn't that pretty? So what we're gonna do here is we're going to take our brushed copper and we're gonna put this over here on the side. And again, I'm going to use my Stampin' Seal Plus. The Stampin' Seals take a tiny bit of time to get used to because the angle is important. So when you're running this on your paper, lots of times we wanna be at an angle like this, but you really need to keep this part on your, here, let me grab a piece of cardstock. You really need to keep this part. This is the angle you should be using at it and just touch this down a little bit until this is touching your paper. But once you get used to it, I love the Stampin' Seal Plus. It is my favorite one. Okay, here goes our copper, and now we're gonna bring in our bumblebee woven. This is our in color, hang on. Um, I think this is called woven, but it's our 2020-2022 in color ribbon. And I'm going to just trim this off here. Look at you guys. This is all I have left of the Amish tape. I think I am completely out of all the rows now, which is exciting, right? Here we go. 
I'm gonna use up some more of our, see what I mean? It doesn't like to rip off of my dispenser. It's cheap and flimsy and I hate it. But I am, I know everybody's like, Kelly, get rid of it. I'm sick of hearing you whine about it. Nope, I'm stubborn. I paid for it, 50 cents a roll. I'm gonna use it. <laughs> okay, so there's our bumblebee. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the end here and tie a loose knot and that gives the effect of a faux bow. And if you don't pull it too tight, you're gonna have a very nice little bow like this. And I'm just going to do this. And oops, I didn't do very good there. And I got a little frayed end there. I'm gonna pull it a little tighter. Grab my mini glue dots. Put that right underneath my knot. And then I'm gonna put that right up here. Oops, there we go. Okay, then where did our banner go? Right here, we're gonna grab some dimensionals for that. Dimensional and dimensional and, ah. Oh, I pulled up part of it, not the rest of it. Here we go. Here comes. I do think I want to cut this edge off. Sarah cut her edge off and I think I'm gonna do that too. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna trim it so that that white is or the vanilla is right at the edge. And I'm gonna put this right on here. Looks good. And then we're gonna add this to our card front. Now, of course, if I had my whole stamp set here, I would stamp a bunch of these leaves with these colors on the back flap of a very vanilla envelope. And don't forget, if you're putting an order in, add a pack of very vanilla envelopes. We have, you know, everybody usually has white envelopes. If you don't have our white envelopes, they're amazing. But add some very vanilla envelopes so that your card will match the envelope. Let me see if I can find my pack. Here it is right here. So here's the difference between our white and our vanilla. And of course, that's fine, but this is better, right? Yeah, so very vanilla envelopes. You can just do a search by those words and find them in my online store. And now we're gonna take some of these gold glitter, add these to your order too, because they are fun for everything. Some of these gold glitter dots, they come in like four, Four different sizes, one, two, three, four different sizes. So you have just about anything you need here. And I'm gonna do one more right here. Look at how that just blings it up. Love that gold in there. Even with the copper, it's okay, right? It still is cool looking. And there is our inlaid embossing technique. I love this. Again, wrapped in texture. Let's look that up because I, I'm not gonna pull that out of my... Where's the wrapped in texture? Wrapped in texture. Maybe that's, oh, you know what? Is it in the mini catalog? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure. See how we have these small ones? These are the same size as this one. We've got greenery and little details and meadow moments. Then we've got this wrapped in texture. It comes with another folder too, but I don't know which one it is. <laughs> if you go to my online store and look it up, it will tell you. I'm sorry about that, but I wasn't thinking. Okay, I am going to put these away so I do not lose them. Because you know what it's like to lose a die. Who has never lost a die, you guys? Like if you've never lost a die, leave a comment because I bow down to you. I will get right on my hands and knees and do the, because I have lost dies. I had one where my big shot ate it. It fell in the crack and crack kills. <laughs> I always say that when I say the word crack, no matter what we're talking about, crack kills. But um, yeah, I lost a die. It was a tiny little thing and it you know where the rollers are when you roll it through? It fell right in the crack. It was it was horrible. It was horrible. But you know what? My bestie Barb came to my rescue and saved the day because that particular set of dies came. She actually got two by accident. She got two of that same die, and she sent me hers. And that's what besties do for each other, right? 
Okay, I'm gonna move this off to the side. Oh, I can put this away. I need to move that off to the side. And we're gonna bring in our next card. I'm super excited about it. We're using the Christmas Celebration Kirby Christmas. That's what it's called, Kirby Christmas. Here we go. And I'm gonna put this with my cards. Okay. Shaded Spruce Ink. I had to pull this back from Rachel because she had it out in her car. Thank goodness she was here this morning or we'd be using a different color of green. These are the dyes. And I took it upon myself to make up this little guide so you can see exactly what these do. You've got several different borders that are cut out and so cool. You could certainly do an inlaid technique with these little leaves where the ones that are cut out, you could cut them out of, cut this out of a different color and put the leaves back in here. That's cool. And then here's the stamps that go with the quite curvy stamp set. Now remember, this is my online class for the month of November. Oh, by the way, when you pre-order that class right now, I am going to say it'll be out in the mail the week of November 30th. I am hoping to get that done and out quicker than that, but with the week of Thanksgiving, and that's our deer hunting season here in Wisconsin, um, and I'm going to Wyoming, I just didn't want to push my numbers, right? I don't want to promise you something that I can't deliver on because that makes me crazy. I do not like to make promises that I break. So... Um, November 30th is when I'm planning on the latest date that I'll have this out in the mail that week. So here's our curvy Christmas and our quite curvy. These are so fun. I have a ton of cards to share with you. I can't do it tonight because I'm still working on my online class and I've made many cards with this and I have to decide which ones I'm going to put in the online class. Um, because that's always an element of surprise. I don't like to show those. They're, they're, you know... An element of surprise. So we've got the classic Christmas DSP. Now this paper and this stamp set are only available till January 4th. This stamp set and the dies are going to continue to be available in our spring mini catalog. But when you order the whole bundle, you save 10%. And if you go fill out the form for my online class and order my bundle, I'm going to include a roll of the white crinkled seam binding because I'm using that for my class. And also a pack of rhinestones are going to be included. So when you fill out that form for my online class, you get those two additional items. And you get the pre-cut cardstock pack, and you also get the online class itself for free. So it's a win-win-win. Okay, get my little cheat sheet up here. I'm going to move this out of the way. Isn't this pretty? Cherry Cobbler, Sahara Sand, Shaded Spruce, and Whisper White. I love these colors together. Classic Christmas. We're going to be using Sahara Sand for our base. It's just a little bit different color than um, Crumb Cake. And then I've got a two inch piece of this designer series paper. This is also the Sahara Sand. And then I've got two Whisper White layers that are both four by five and a quarter. And let me get my cello bag out here. I've also got um, Cherry Cobbler ink and some of our sheer real red ribbon. My stamps are mounted and ready to roll here, and I've got a Cherry Cobbler Stampin' Blend. So let me show you a little cool little thing with this. We're going to fold our cardstock in half and burnish that edge good. And now we're going to take this 2 inch by, it's going to be 5 and a half. <laughs> How big is this? 2 by 5 and a half. And I am going to add some glue. Now I'm not adding glue to the very bottom because that's going to get cut off and I don't want glue residue. You'll see what I'm talking about here in just a minute. So I've only got glue on about two thirds of it, about right to here. And I'm going to put that right up here. Make sure that I've got that stacked against the top of my card. See this bottom part right here? No glue under that. And I just chose to not cut this off. Oh, look, I got glue all over there. Dang it, my scissors are going to go all icky. If your scissors get icky with glue, take some fingernail polish remover or um, rubbing alcohol, and you can clean them right off. 
works like a charm. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Now, I am going to grab this particular die, okay? And if you notice on this die, one, one side of it has uh, a ridge, meaning it'll cut, and the other side does not. So you want your cutting ridge to be at the bottom. And I'm going to take this and where did my dies go? I just put away all those dies with all my tape. I just looked on my lamp. I have no tape left on my lamp. So I'm gonna pull these out of here and I'll clean this up later. So don't worry. Don't worry about my mess here. Like, do you really put those away like that? Oh no, I did not. Did I? Huh, okay. Then we're gonna put this on here and I am going to Add this very close to the bottom, and I'm kind of tilting it up that way. And you can play around with this and see what works best for you. I'm going to do that. And then let me get my machine in here. Not my new machine because I'm missing a plate. <laughs> Does, is there a little tone of bitterness? Just a little, right? <laughs> it's like, dang it. We'll, we'll find it. Don't worry. She better find it. No, I'm just kidding. I'm pretty nice to work for. I'm not nasty. Okay, so you want to be careful. Now our new machine has more room from side to side. So you get a little bit more play room with the plates. This, If you have one of these die cutting machines, be careful with this die and running it through like this because you don't want these this die to be sticking out beyond these plates because the big shot is a big shot and it will mangle your die. So just be be mindful of what you're doing here. Okay. That's that's another reason why I love that new stamp and cut and emboss machine because it has more room. Let me show you. If you're in the market for a new machine, I highly recommend this one. If you're not, that's fine. But see what I mean here? We've got more room here so that you don't have to be as scary <laughs> doing, running it through that way. Okay. Now, now, my husband always says, and we have an okay. So you are going to take this off and you want to be careful if you didn't put this on your clothes enough times, this tape. You know, you've got to do this a few times so it doesn't rip your cardstock. You need it to be less sticky. Washi tape. This is a temporary um, low-tack tape. It doesn't matter. Washi tape works fine. We Most of us have it. Okay, so when we get done with that, you're going to end up with this, right? So what you want to do is you want to cut off. Hang on a second. got to find my other thing. You want to cut off about, I would say, you want this to be about one and a half inches. So if we have one and a half, you're going to cut off about an inch off the bottom. Okay, so let's do that. Oh, i got stuff stacked all over my everything. You know, <laughs> just like normal. It's normal, Kelly. We're going to take this and we're going to put it in and we're going to cut off an inch. So that's what I'm doing right here. Okay. Yay. Bring my piercing mat back in here. This is just a paper piercing mat. We sell these. I wrap printer paper around it and tape it on with crummy Amish tape. <laughs> I had to put that in there. And uh, this is my stamping surface. I like using this for a surface. Okay. Next. Cherry cobbler. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to grab the Thinking of You at Christmas and I'm going to stamp that right down here with Cherry Cobbler ink. Doesn't that look nice? I love the curve. It kind of goes with the curve. Now the next thing we're going to do before we get too much further is I'm going to use some ribbon. And I'm just going to tie this around here to make sure that I have enough ribbon because this is the end. Yep, look at just enough. This is the end of my sheer red ribbon. And I think I have some more coming, but I don't... Oh, I better check my order. Um, I love this ribbon. I've used two rolls of it already. So, this is real red. Whoops. Oh, did I just get that on my shirt just a little bit? 
Um, this is our Real Red Sheer Ribbon, and it ties really nice. And what I love about it is you can take it now and make it Cherry Cobbler. I want Cherry Cobbler because that's what goes around with this whole suite. I just wanted a Cherry Cobbler. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the coloring end of my stamp and blend marker and I am going to color my real red ribbon and you can definitely let me get a piece of something white um, gosh does Kelly have any white cardstock yes she does here we go and you can see the difference between the real red and the cherry cobbler. I mean, it does matter. This is brighter red and this is darker cherry cobbler. So all you do is just color down the edges with your coloring end of your stamp and blend marker. And I'm gonna do this now so it has a chance to dry. Let's see if we need to, we need to do the other side, maybe. Yep, I think we do. This um, edge is a little bit thicker so it didn't bleed through like it normally would. Do both sides, just because then I don't have to worry about oh, trying to get one side to show and not the other, right? Look at how pretty that is. And get this all the way to the end. Okay. Get that lid back on there. Oops, hang on. Things are bouncing and falling and whatever. I'm going to just let this dry for a minute. Now what we're going to do is we're going to... Ooh, I don't know if I like that. Oh, I think it'll be okay. I'm going to bring this in here. We're going to stamp our inside sentiment. And we're going to use Cherry Cobbler and Shaded Spruce. And I love these rich, dark Christmas colors. So here's my Cherry Cobbler. Oh, this should be vanilla. Oh, no, it's white. Ooh, the last card was vanilla. I was like, what did I do? Oh, that looks good. And then we've got these pine bows, and I thought, ooh, these would look really nice going right across the bottom of my card. So I'm going to start in the middle, and then I'm just going to keep going on either side. Don't overthink it. Doesn't that look cool? Yeah. Okay, so let me move these out and bring this in. Trying to keep, I've got to get a baby wipe, you guys, because I think I got ink on my fingers and I don't want to ruin my card. You know, you know how that is when that happens, right? It's like, no, oh, are you kidding me? Oops, last one. I like to use Huggies, and these are the Refreshing Clean, is what they're called. I like the, um, hot, look how much green I had on my fingers. I like the thickness of them, and they smell good, but not obnoxious. Some baby wipes are just so perfumey, it's hateful. And we found that Val can't use Huggies wipes. It gives her a little rash. So that's weird because Huggies is a really good brand. Huggies are made right in the town next to me in Nina, Wisconsin. We have the Kimberly Clark World Headquarters here. Okay, so we're doing that. And what we're going to do now is we are going to take the other white layer and we're going to just put it right over top of this layer. So this is kind of a fun fold, okay, just like this. And now I'm going to grab my line of Christmas trees and hang on, let me get some things out of the way. I'm working with one hand here now. Oh, I got to write that on my list. Sheer red ribbon. I can't believe I ran out. I, I almost couldn't find it. Oh Lord, where is my red ribbon? What was hiding in my drawer? Okay, so I'm going to stand up and I'm going to, ooh, you know what? You, oh, 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 I know what I did. I'm like, you can't stamp it like this because you're going to get trees on your card base. But what I did do is I took a post-it note, or you could just use a piece of paper, whatever works for you. I took a post-it note and I put it right here like this and right here like this. And I made a whole bunch of these for a swap. So I did this over and over and over. Make sure you've got this white piece lined up with the piece underneath. And I'm going to ink this again just to be safe. And now I'm going to come in and I'm going to stamp my trees. So you can see that it follows the line of my die, right? Okay, we can take these off. You can use these again if you want to mass produce this. This is a pretty nice card to make. And now what you're going to do is you're going to take and add 
some glue right on here. Again, you're going to put this right over the inside layer. This is the easiest way to line it up. It's like you don't have to think too hard. Just like that. Then we're going to take this other piece and let's see, if you have this too wide, you can trim it down a little bit more because we left some room at the bottom here, right? And now you're just going to put this right down here. So we're going to add, don't get too close to the bottom because you're gonna have like a little eighth of an inch sticking out there. And now you're going to line this up with the edge of your card base. Um, yay! Look at that. Isn't that cool? I love this. I think it's really classy. And the other thing we're gonna do now is we're gonna bring in our modified ribbon so that this is our cherry cobbler now. It was real red. And we're gonna tie a knot. Gosh, look at you guys. I just barely have enough to do this. I really lucked out. I need to be counting my lucky stars, counting my blessings. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna trim this off. Isn't that just rich looking? Love it. And last but not least, get yourself some red rhinestones. These are so fun. Oh, look, and hopefully yours won't come with hair. Look at that red rhinestone right on there. Let's see. <laughs> okay, we salvaged it. And then what I did is I just took one of these trees and I just put one little rhinestone on one tree. Is that not the cutest little thing ever? Now, I'm gonna grab an envelope. I just opened up a new pack. You guys, you get 40 envelopes for like $6, I think. And these are the nicest feeling envelopes ever. They're so nice. And I'm going to... I'm gonna bring in my trees and I'm gonna do just a little, turn it this way a little bit, and I'm gonna do just a little line of trees right there. How cute is that, right? So now we have our card and our envelope and I have some fantastic mail to show you guys. I'm excited about it because I got a whole bunch of it this week. So just hang tight like it all just cleaned up. I'm doing pretty good on time. I'm not feeling like I'm in a panic or anything. So that's good. And I'll okay, just put away, out of my way. Don't forget, Kirby Celebrations is my newest online class. Pre-order's going on for it right now. And I promise, unless something like bad happens, to have it out in the mail the week of the 30th. And there are, it's not just Christmas. There are a ton of different card ideas. Look at, I just shoved that right off my desk. That would have been dandy. Let me get that in my envelope. I'll put this over here in my envelope. Hang on while I get my life back together. <laughs> oh, I should have a drink, right? Strawberry lemonade, nothing stronger, don't worry. Could you imagine me on a few adult beverages with a Facebook Live, that would be somewhat of a horror, I'm sure. Here we go, here's our cards. Absolutely love these. Super, super cute. Okay, mail, it's time for mail. All right, first of all, let me, oh, if you guys happen to miss, I believe this was from my Facebook Live last week. We made these tower of boxes out of the brightly gleaming designer series paper. So I just happen to have them sitting here. I can't wait to give these. And this fabulous little gift card holder. It's got a little pocket here. Look at how cute that is. This was from last week. So if you missed last week, please go back and check that out. I need to make sure I take those out of there. Okay, let me get this out of the way. And mail, mail. Oh my gosh, I'm going to start with this package right here. Holy cannoli. Look what I got. <gasps> this comes from my friend Connie Paisecki from Marquette, Michigan. She sent me a whole bag of Donkers candy corn. And I'm taking this and this opened one to um, Wyoming 
for me and Dina and Barb to share, maybe if we get to Wyoming with it. <laughs> but she says, thanks a bunch. This is our Halloween paper. Um, Halloween this or magic in this night. Is that not cool? So it has nothing to do with Halloween. And look at how she colored the inside. So pretty. And it says, um, she was in my online technique club and she was sending me her rewards form. And she says, thank you so much for offering this club. It's so fun getting a card from you each month. Enjoy the treats. Honey, you know, I love me some donkers, sea salt caramels. I love the dark chocolate, but these are fantastic too. These are wonderful. I'm going to put this over by the door so I don't forget to take it on my trip. Okay, next up, let me grab some more mail here because we got a ton. And I think I got some mail last week that I actually forgot to show you. It was tucked, tucked around the edge of what I was showing you guys. Okay, so here is the little box that I got from Ann Hebner. It's super cute, but I couldn't get that. It wasn't a belly band, so I had to, like, destroy it. But this is adorable. And this is one of our little mini paper pumpkin boxes. You guys, these are going to be great for Christmas. So um, she sent just some really good little snacks here for while we're watching on stage. And then this cute easel calendar holder and we're going to be making some calendars coming up so watch for those because I love to send those out towards the end of the year. So this again was from my um, my upline, my team leader Ann Hebner and a nice little note about on stage and then let's see I got um, a tip idea from Claudia Padone and she's showing me a picture of her blends. She keeps them in a container like this, and she sent me all these rubber bands because she takes the light and the dark and rubber bands them together. And isn't that a smart idea? Claudia, thank you so much. That is just so smart. Then, oh, you guys, I shouldn't even show this to you. Remember I told you about the little dragonflies and that we got to pre-order for on stage? Check this out. This is a card made by one of my team members, and this is from Cindy, and she got some happy mail from me, and she said my gift, oh, the, she's part of my team, so she got the on stage gift that I sent out to everyone, and she said it couldn't have come at a better time. Her One of her best friend's dog lost its battle with cancer, which is super sad, so she had a really crappy day and so did her friend and getting that gift in the mail just made it a little bit better she said thank you so very much and yes I belong to a fantastic team and Cindy from Oregon I am so happy to have you on my team she has been just a lot of fun so there is a brand new bundle coming out in the spring mini catalog then I have this beauty this is from Pam Phillips, and Pam is thanking me for the ribbon. She said um, she, she won it from the monthly team meeting. Pam is also a member of my team. And um, she says, as Gomer Pyle would say, thank you, thank you, thank you. Did I do that pretty good? <laughs> I love that. Gomer Pyle would say, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, and look at that fun envelope that she made. And she put some washi tape, looks like. Look at that. That's really cool. I don't want to show her a dress, but what a beautiful, beautiful card. And then we have this one coming to us from Jamie Bauer. Oh, I love the sunflower, and I love Misty Moonlight. Now, Jamie is thanking me. She was also in my online technique club, and she was submitting her form for her $30 in free product. If anybody wants to find any information about this online technique club, you can go to my blog. In the right-hand column is a online technique club graphic. Just click on that. You'll find out all the details. But what a very pretty card. And then I found out, I didn't realize that Jamie is from the area where my father grew up in northern Wisconsin. So that was kind of neat, too. It's a very, very small, small towns up there. Then Debbie Peters. Look at how gorgeous this with the ornate dyes and paper. Love this. She says, you have single-handedly made my day with 
the awesome gift box. She is another member of my team thanking me for the gift that I sent her. She said, I am so grateful to you for many things. Can't wait for on stage. So Debbie's watching on stage right now while I'm goofing around with you guys. <laughs> and I love it. Next up. Oh, I have to show this one to you with the box. So do you remember a while back, one of my team members um, from California sent a box of goodies to Molly that had all kinds of owl elements in it. And Sandra Moran, she just sent this card to Molly. This is to Molly. Look at how cute it is. It says, hooray for you. Hi, hello, Molly. Thank you for the card because Molly made Sandra a card using all the owl stuff that Sandra sent to her. And I believe Sandra said she found this stuff that she had purchased and wasn't going to use it. So she sent it to me and I gave it to Molly and Molly loves it. Well, look at, she said she had some more owl stuff. Look at this huge pack for Molly. Molly is absolutely going to love this. Some more accessories for the owls. Look at the little ribbons. We have some buttons and look at all these little trinkets. Another little owl stamp set. Uh, some more, what are these? Owl cards and envelopes. Oh, Molly's going to love that because she always has me help her cut the card bases. And some more die cut notes. Sandra, you are just the sweetest person. I am so glad that you are my customer, my friend, and one of my discount shoppers. Oh, I got to make sure Molly gets her card. She is going to just squeal when I tell her because she asked me about that box. She's like, did that lady send that other stuff she said she had? And I said, nope, not yet. <laughs> She's going to be so excited. Okay, here we have a thank you card. Look how pretty that is. Oh, and an I Voted Today sticker. This comes to me from Terry Mullinex. She says, you shouldn't have, but I'm glad you did. Thank you so much for my happy mail. I'm so surprised I won for attending our team meeting. So when I have a virtual team meeting, I send out um, door prizes, just like if we had an in-person meeting. And when you watch the meeting, virtually live you get entered in the drawings to win those so terry was one of my whoops i'll leave this out terry was one of my door prize winners and then look at this this is actually one of my my good friend barb's team members barbara pike look at that she's got some um wink i think on the congratulations on your million isn't that sweet barbara pike you are just the most thoughtful person. Thank you so much. I love this. And it's one of those slimline cards, so that's really fun too. And then this is from one of my team members down in um, kind of southern Wisconsin. This is from Andy Aquisto, and it says, Make Today Amazing. She says, I love getting happy mail. I will put the bling to good use. Thanks for the prize. She was another prize winner from my team meeting. And then, oh, this is a really cool one. This comes from my friend Susan Hines. She's down in Grafton, Wisconsin, which is southern, kind of southern Wisconsin, kind of. Look at how cool this is. Isn't this the neatest? She says, Kelly, to Kelly, who enjoys hunting in God's magnificent wonder, wilderness, may the Lord protect and give you joy. Have an unforgettable day. Let the adventure begin. And she says, as I was constructing these cards for veterans, you came to mind. This is a token of gratitude for your generous gifts and technique ideas via Facebook videos. And it says, be still and know that I am God, thinking of you. But look at all the detail that went into this. This is like so amazing. And she says, it's one, this is card number one of 12. Susan, thank you so much. This is just incredibly beautiful. And I love it. Okay, let's see. What? A, oh, I've got more. It just never ends, you guys. Here we go. This is from Wendy Morse. Wendy, I just love you, and I love it when I see your name coming in on mail. Look at how cute this is with that beautiful ribbon and the gorgeous um, Magic in the Night paper. We've got some wonderful little chocolates in there. This is one of our little tiny treat boxes. So look at how she just wrapped it in paper and tied some ribbon around it. So cool, right? 
And then here is her beautiful card. And look at how cool that is. She's got, oh, hang on. I think this needs to go back on here. There we go. Oops, hang on. Mail. Mail can kill things sometimes. <laughs> But here is her beautiful card, and it says, Hi, Kelly. Your creativity and energy is endless. Thanks for videos and for all the work you do to inspire all us crafters. So happy you are feeling better. Sincerely. Doesn't she have, like, the nicest handwriting ever? It's, like, just so perfect. Yeah. Thank you so much. This is gorgeous. Oh, I love that glitter on those leaves, too. Mm, lovely. Okay, um, and she's sending me a ribbon pack that she won't be using, and hopefully I can use it as a door prize. <gasps> this is the basket weave a metallic ribbon. I'm going to put this in my door prize stuff, and I always kind of like to remember, I'm going to write Wendy's last name on here so that when we give it away, I can say it was from Wendy, right? I, liked, I started doing that because I thought I could remember, but <laughs> yeah, that was funny, right? How dumb can you get? Anyways... There we go, you guys. I think that is all my mail. I don't see any more over here. Um, I don't want to turn the camera around because that's when we've been experiencing problems with my voice breaking up. But And this is a little weird, right? Yeah, so I don't want to do that either. But I just want to tell you guys to have a fantastic week. If you would like to place any orders, you know you can go right to my blog. You'll find an online ordering button to get to my store. You will find photos and measurements and store links so that you can go what color was that and you'll find a little shopping list it'll say it was pretty peacock or the brushed metallic cardstock um so you'll find a complete list of all the supplies i use to make these two cards today don't forget this one is um using the curvy celebrations which is my newest online class you can pre-order that now and next Next month in December, we're going to be using In the Pines for masculine cards. You guys are going to love these. My kit class for uh, November is using Freeze and Fun. And I don't have it here because it's packed for me to take to Wyoming. I told you guys that we work while we're there. And I will be coming up with my kit class ideas while I'm there. So, hope you guys have yourselves a wonderful week. This is my code Current code, host code, if your order, if you're planning on placing an order and your order is under $150, please use this code. If it's over $150, don't use the code. You're going to get some benefits from Stamping Up, some rewards, and I want you to have those. And uh, what else can I say? Oh, can't forget. I got to pack my tiara. I'm going to uncrown myself, pack my tiara, and my little magical unicorn, and... Um, I'm sure that we'll be sharing some pictures from from our trip because we always do because, you know, me and Dina going any place is quite hysterical. <laughs> I can't wait to share that with you guys. Thank you so much. You know that I appreciate you. Thank you for sharing this video. Give me a thumbs up. Click that notification bell on YouTube so that you'll be notified when I have new videos popping up. Um, YouTube has changed their algorithms. They used to send out an email to everybody that was subscribed to a channel like my channel they quit doing that so if you click on that bell that's the notification they will notify you like something will pop up on your device saying Kelly Atchison has a new video you want to definitely click that give me a thumbs up leave a comment below so you can be entered for door prizes and okay now I'm gonna stop have yourselves a wonderful week bye bye